NBA Commissioner David Stern says he believes a woman could be playing in the NBA within the next decade. Do you guys think a woman could ever play on an NBA roster? Maybe a freak of nature just walks onto an NBA team one day? Well, is it even fair for a woman to play in the NBA? Let me know what you guys think down below. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Since the start of the NBA, every roster has been filled with men. There's been just under 4,000 players to ever play NBA since 1964. The common conception is that no woman has ever played on an NBA roster. But what if I told you that isn't true? Denise Long was born in 1951 in a small town near Iowa. The 5'9 prodigy had a solid high school ball career, scoring over 6,000 points. If you guys don't understand how crazy that is, LeBron James, one of the best high schoolers ever, scored only around 2.5 thousand points in high school. And yeah, I get what you guys are going to say. It was women's ball and it was way back in the 1960s. Don't worry, I'm not trying to compare what she did to what LeBron did, but you just got to give credit where credit's due. She even managed to average 69 points in a single season and dropped a casual 111 points in one game. Anyway, fast forward a little longer, Denise received a letter saying she'd be drafted by Golden State at the 175th pick in the NBA draft. However, the pick was voided basically right away as the NBA thought the team was doing it as a publicity stunt just to increase revenue. So does this really count? I guess not. A few more of you might have heard this name, Lucia Harris. Lucia was a girl from a tiny outback farm in Mississippi. She grew up with a family of 10 other kids. But it's pretty safe to say she was the standout child. She dominated in high school and college, winning MVP three straight years in high school. After college, she was selected to play in the first ever women's ball comp for the Olympics, and averaged around 15 points. Anyway, in the 1977 draft, Lucia Harris was drafted by New Orleans before 33 other male players, which is kind of crazy. Unlike Denise, she was actually drafted. All good, right? Well, no. Somehow scouts missed the fact that Lucia was actually pregnant, so she decided to turn down the opportunity to play in the NBA and look after her family. Who knows if she actually would have gotten any game time, but it's pretty crazy. There is one other girl named Ann Myers in the 1979 draft who was drafted by the Pacers and signed an NBA contract and even practiced in scrimmages against other NBA players. So in a way, she was the most legit out of the three. Unfortunately, the league did not allow her to play due to her gender and she apparently did not meet the team's standards and scrimmages. Much like the other two girls, there were lots of controversy surrounding them. The Pacers were bashed a lot for drafting Anne because it was deemed a publicity stunt and basically just to gain attention. So, the real question is, will a woman ever actually play in the NBA? My opinion, no, but never say never. I think we can all agree that the commissioner is a pretty awesome guy and is always willing to do something to go outside of the box when it comes to running the league. But if you think about it, players like Leandro Ball, who are actually pretty decent players, can't even get a game on any NBA teams. Think about the amount of publicity teams would gain just by putting him on their roster, even if he only played one minute of the game. My guess is that he would at least sell a couple extra thousand tickets, but teams are still not willing to gamble on him. And I find it kind of hard to believe that there's going to be a girl that is better or even as good as Leangelo in the next few centuries at least. Who knows, there are plenty of players like JJ Redick that are in the league essentially for their insane shooting ability and don't really rely on their physicality. So maybe if a woman rocks up one day with a crazy 3 point percentage, a team will give them a chance. In my opinion, that's basically the only way I can see it happening, and even then, it's crazy unlikely. There's also this whole other issue that guys aren't allowed in the WNBA, which kind of makes it unfair if girls can go to the NBA. So if I'm honest, I can't see it ever happening. But again, never say never. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching my first ever vid. I didn't really address it at the start because I wanted to get straight into it, but uh, I appreciate everyone here. Please like and subscribe and uh, check out my Instagram down below. I'll be following back every single person and shouting out anyone in my next video who messages me. But yeah, hope you guys are doing okay in quarantine. I'll see you in my next video.